sound therapy is a very exciting methodology to understand who you are and experience life in a much different way than perhaps a person is used to because we spend so much time focused on what do we see, how do we look, taking photos, showing pictures, um, noticing our visual stimuli. And very rarely in our current culture do we really focus on what are we listening to, what is our audio stimulus, and how does it make us feel. Stay connected to gratitude. Hit the follow button right now and join thousands of listeners tuning in each week. We're the Gratitude Seekers. Come join us. Hi, Gratitude Seeker. Welcome to a new episode of the Gratitude Podcast. Our guest from today is the founder of Embodied Sounds. He's a musician, filmmaker, conservationist, entrepreneur, storyteller, and yogi dedicated to connecting people to the ocean. He has performed all over the world, included, including COP and Burning Man. He has also recently turned heads on the International Film Festival circuit with his Sounds of the Ocean immersive experience. Our guest is driven by a passion to raise environmental awareness by curating immersive sound and visual experiences in support of ocean conservation around the world. He believes becoming more mindful will actually help in the ocean conservation and global climate climate conservation conversation. In order to do this, he aims to connect people back to nature through, through the, his immersive arts by fusing film and sound together to create the ultimate mindful experience. Joshua Sam Miller, welcome to the Gratitude Podcast. Hello, thank you so much for having me today. My pleasure. So I'm thinking that um, one of the best ways in which our audience can get to know you is by listening to your work. So I'm going to include here a, a small um, part, a sample of, uh, of your work because it's, it's wonderful. And like I mentioned, it's a wonderful way to, to start your day connecting with nature. So after this, uh, you will be experiencing part of the work that I'm going to be talking about with uh, Joshua Sam Miller. So we're back now. I hope that you've enjoyed this wonderful experience and we can continue to get to know our guests even more. So let us know a little bit about you that I haven't mentioned yet uh, that you think would be interesting for our listeners. Yeah, welcome back from your, your journey after listening to this track and I hope it was supportive of your practice and intention to cultivate more gratitude into your life. I absolutely love the name of your podcast and I'm so excited to be able to explore this topic with you today. And some of what you just heard was a combination of ocean sounds that I've collected from uh, partners in the Sounds of the Ocean project off the coast of Northern California. 
And we were listening to humpback whales that were recorded off of Monterey Bay Canyon. It's believed that the conversation they're having is a love song and a mating call mm -hmm. to attract each other and be able to procreate and continue the evolution of their beautiful species. And when I first heard these recordings, I was so touched by what it sounds like in the sea and what whales are able to communicate with each other that it, it started to make me ask, uh, what are we missing? What are we missing as the human species to, to really be so limited in our ability to communicate to each other? And I decided to try and have a conversation with these animals in a musical way that would be a, a conversation and really be able to support what they have to say uh, from a, a very deep place of uh, compassion, gratitude, and curiosity. And what wound up happening was... Um, was nothing I ever would have imagined because as a musician, um, I really believe it's important to listen and develop a practice of listening that supports you to make interesting music. And just the opportunity to listen to whales talk to each other inspired so much musical expression that all came from the place of letting them be the lead singers and just filling in the space around that. And it's been such a fun ride uh, since starting to work with these types of uh, field recordings almost four years ago to, um, to be doing, yeah, everything that I'm doing now. So I hope it was a, a very in, uh, inviting and, and nourishing journey for you. Sometimes, can bring up some unexpected emotions, which is also important to acknowledge and uh, invite you to write some thoughts down or just take a moment to reflect if, you know, if that has been your experience, because I think sound has this power to unlock um, parts of our minds and parts of our souls that we don't often connect with. Um, so definitely know that that's okay if if that's been part of your experience. Yeah, definitely. And um, as I was mentioning before the the interview, as I was um, conversing about uh, my experience um, this morning, I I started with uh, this beautiful songs and um, wh what it led me to was the fact that uh, I could connect with nature as I was doing my morning meditation in a really deep and beautiful way and I think that's that's something so beautiful that, that we can do even though I, I'm not living by the ocean, uh, as some of you listening may, um, it's still uh, a great opportunity to, to feel like I'm there. And as you know, many of the, listen, the guests actually of uh, the Gratitude Podcast have mentioned that one of the best ways to connect to gratitude, to experience gratitude is my being in nature so yeah this this has been a really wonderful experience and i'm really happy that i'm able to to share it with you so how did you how did you get to this how did you choose to do this work and um yeah uh what led you basically to to doing this you know i feel it chose me to be honest and i just listened to the call and was willing to respond with um yeah with what i what i felt 
called to to offer this was a very a very organic process to be introduced to the recordings uh, after finishing a yoga class actually in Santa Cruz California I was uh, leading workshops in the field of nada yoga which help people understand the power of sound and one of the uh, participants in the class happened to work at the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California and he invited me over to his office to listen to the wells and said I think you might like this <laughs> and I'm so happy I went over to his office that day and just went to explore and be be curious and be open to what uh, what exists in the world that I wasn't aware of yet because something happened I tell you or it just kind of clicked in that moment and I of course had studied music a little bit before that and had already committed myself to a path of artistic expression but I never never really thought it would evolve this way and as I've gone deeper with this uh, this passion it really has brought me back to who I've always been in a way that I never would have imagined because I grew up uh, in a family that loved to scuba dive mm -hmm. and spent a lot of time underwater as a child which was a extremely enjoyable relaxing positive experience it uh was some of the best memories that i can remember from my childhood which all came back uh within the last four years to continue inspiring this uh this path and i find that so interesting because i feel that um and I definitely experienced this myself for a long time, that this kind of searching for what, what am I supposed to do? What do I want to do? Uh, what's my purpose? What's my mission? This was a very challenging time. And for anyone in that chapter of life, uh, I feel you. It's a challenging time. And I, I really like to say, you know, this, this path really did cho choose me. And I just had the ability to, to listen to that and, and recognize when something really special was showing up and being curious what would happen if I explore it. That's really, I'd say, the best answer to that question. Mm -hmm. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. When you feel like your best self, connected to gratitude and the abundance of life, everything seems possible. Thing is, we don't always feel like that. I know I can get stuck in my own head and without asking for help, it can take me quite a while to get out. Sometimes solutions are so simple though, and right in front of us. We just don't see them unless we have someone beside us asking the right questions. BetterHelp gets you matched with a licensed therapist to help you overcome what you're going through, asking those exact right questions for you. Better yet, you don't even need to go anywhere to do it. You can talk to your therapist by text, chat, phone or video, however you feel more comfortable whenever you have the time. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com gratitude today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. And um, it's, a, it's a great example of following your inner guidance and for, for going, going for it. And I think this comes from being present and being aware of the the gifts that you that you're receiving because the fact that you were open enough to go and listen to be curious enough to um to follow this path 
uh, gave you a wonderful gift actually and of course you were generous enough to give the gift to to share the gift with other people through your work so yeah i think it's it's uh, something really wonderful thank you thank you i appreciate that yeah definitely so let us know a little bit more about sound therapy what is sound therapy sound therapy is a very exciting methodology to understand who you are and experience life in a much different way than perhaps a person is used to because we spend so much time focused on what do we see how do we look taking photos showing pictures um, noticing our visual stimuli and very rarely in our current culture do we really focus on what are we listening to what is our audio stimulus and how does it make us feel i grew up in new york city and spent um, about 27 years living in more of an urban area where it's very hard to find a quiet place to think and just be perhaps uh, by yourself. And you're constantly being uh, fed very loud noises that create a, a bed of soundscape that you don't even realize until you leave that environment and go into the woods perhaps or a much quieter place that at first can be very uncomfortable and, and very um, confronting. And it certainly was for me. But sound therapy, I think, is being able to understand really what sounds are able to help you in a holistic way and what sounds you don't really respond that well to and how can you limit your exposure to those. Mm. And it's a very exciting field that uh, has been so helpful for me in my own uh, development and growth, uh, both as an artist and just a human being, to create more space in the mind and be able to experience life in a whole new way. Definitely. I, I love how you described it because indeed so much of life is related to sound and we mostly focus on what we can see. That's the truth. And um, I've I've gotten to, to realize this as I was uh, watching the behind the scenes from uh, uh, the Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite movies and uh, at some point they talked about sound design and uh, it was so fascinating for me to find out that most of the um, the sounds that we experience in while watching the movie were actually created afterwards they weren't sounds that were actually happening at the moment of, of filming it and um, it was so interesting how unaware I was <laughs> that was happening and how impactful sound design is and uh, I'm learning about um, videography and I'm seeing more and more examples of how we can actually feel or see things in a different way and feel things in a different way um, based on the sounds that we hear and that i find that really fascinating maybe you can explore this a little bit sure yeah there's a lot to explore there and i'm so happy that you 
while watching Lord of the Rings, noticed the the sonic environment, both in the in the sound effects as well as music uh, components, because films have such a rich uh, storytelling power with uh, with the audio alone, and um, mm-hmm. I think it's really fun sometimes to listen to movies without even watching them to really uh, feel what that story can be. And I'm actually in the middle of composing uh, music for our feature film for Sounds of the Ocean and being mostly uh, in my life a live performer as a musician, the process of creating uh, sounds in the studio to support a film is a totally different creative uh, flow than doing something in a live setting on stage that I'm starting to get into and really enjoying because you get to be so playful and so creative Mm -hmm. and the sound that maybe you need to articulate what the image is showing you can be the most random uh, artifact or um, material or location. But if you're listening to the world in <laughs> in that way, as most composers do, um, you get to just play around with with making uh, very interesting pieces of art and i find a lot of joy in that and i am really inspired by um, movies in both uh hollywood and other film you know industries we're currently working in the full dome community right now which uses a lot of immersive technology and bringing the full power of the ocean into a space mostly through the soundscape is our goal and i i just love um really taking people out of their day-to-day life and uh dropping them into a different environment completely and actually find that audio does that much uh much on a much deeper level than an image can do that and um for about two years i was giving live performances in the United States as well as Costa Rica uh, during the pandemic. And I decided to use wireless headphones that would tune out the background noise that would be perhaps distracting for a person to really listen to the music and be able to also stay socially distanced from each other, which was important for a while and still have a very deep, powerful, emotional experience. And so many people said to me after a concert, I felt like I just went scuba diving. Oh, my God. (laughs) I feel like I was in the ocean. How did you do that? And all we were doing was lying on the ground, listening to very... uh, immersive audio and i just love that because when you close your eyes and you really are able to connect with what's going on our own imagination takes us to that place uh visually and and finding the right stimulus of of sound and of music can really of course depending your intention um take a person uh, to a very, very special place. Definitely. I I love it so much. And um, I think it complements the the world that we live in so beautifully, the fact that we can have these kinds of experiences in which we don't have to look at things because we have nowadays screens all over the place. And um, we tend to be to be focused so much on them, and we don't take too much time to 
um, actually uh, be more aware of the sounds that we are experiencing and yeah i think it's it's something so wonderful and it goes so deep and um, i was thinking about the fact that people usually say let's go watch a movie but they they don't usually um they're not usually aware of the fact that the movie itself is an experience and aside from the images the the sounds make a lot of the the story and the, m- many of the feelings that we feel are related to the sounds that we hear in that particular movie and uh yeah, I I'm fascinated I'm fascinated by this and um the way you describe it is it just gives me a, a new appreciation of of sound itself and yeah I love it I'm so happy to hear that yeah um I'm hoping that this is what's happening for our listeners as well um just being able to appreciate what they're hearing right now even more just becoming aware of this opportunity to be able to hear because even when we we think about gratitude and we create gratitude lists we usually think about the things that we can see we look around and we appreciate certain things that we see but if i'm thinking a bit more deeply and this is a really interesting perspective that i didn't think about for instance if we if we're thinking about our significant other when we appreciate that person we can appreciate some of the sounds the sound of their voice for instance when they are saying something i th- i think it's so deep when when we think about it and um yeah it, i think it's a a new way of appreciating things and appreciating life and thinking about the things that that we appreciate what's your take on this absolutely and i must say you have a very calming voice so i just <laughs> en- enjoy you. listening to you speaking uh very much and find that the connection between sound and developing more appreciation is a very a very close one and i have definitely noticed in my life a change from how i used to speak versus how i speak now and i think that's gone hand in hand with my uh ability to find this connection to appreciation gratitude compassion um in my life and just be able to to reflect that because um the voice and our vocal cords are so connected to our inner world and there's a a lot of potential for transformation only through the voice uh self expression being able to speak or sing is is not easy and many people including myself uh at one point or another struggle to to really be able to express who we are but it's so valuable and so healing and so transformational overall in life to be able to um really say what you have to say in a way that is pleasant for other people to receive this is also important because we have a lot of people who know how to say what they need to say but they're not saying it in such in in such a way that we want to hear it 
we don't need more of that in my opinion we mm -hmm. have we have enough of this so developing that self-awareness the ability to communicate calmly respectfully um, from a place of authenticity i think is one of the the biggest missing elements in most of modern society in politics in um, television mainstream media mostly what you see are people shouting at each other and i don't really understand the point of that to be honest yeah i think they just want to be heard and they think it's it's the only way that they can do that but indeed that's it, right I, I i remember my parents were looking at these kinds of tv shows and um i realized that indeed it, and it's one of the reasons why <laughs> when, when i got home i i um turned off the tv immediately because i i felt like it was giving out a an atmosphere that i didn't want to be a part of and um yeah when we think about the news as well it's fast paced it's um tends to be uh worrisome quite a lot of the time and um yeah that that is a huge influence on our psyche on our emotions and we just we, we don't actually realize it so aside from the um the the imagery the the pictures that we see this part is also very powerful and we we don't realize it most of the time absolutely yeah and i think that just becoming aware of this is a great tip and something that's that can be very powerful when we are able to choose the the sounds that we have in our environment i think it's it's very important that we choose sounds that are helpful that are bringing us up that are making us feel good or better and um yeah do anything we can to to get into environments that actually help us have a different kind of experience and different kinds of emotions and uh yeah whenever we can connect with nature and uh i think this circles back beautifully to how we started the fact that there are people like you that have created these kinds of immersive experiences in which we can choose a different kind of sound environment in which we can connect with nature even though we might not be able to go out in nature at that particular time so yeah i think this is wonderful and it's a wonderful choice that we have and uh, yeah what have you seen are some um, some benefits of doing this aside from the um, the simple ones the ones that are right in front of us of spending more time in nature of listening to these kinds of um, sounds that connect to nature and to our inner nature mm. you know we're we're actually about to start um, working on a research project to scientifically collect evidence that will will look into the answer to that question but on direct feedback that I've received from attendees at our events and also from my own personal experience, I, I can say that after listening to sounds from the natural world, 
and really taking the time to listen to them, I feel more connected, more inspired, more at peace with my my mind, less stressed. And I'd say just overall a happier version of myself. That's wonderful. And isn't this what we actually want? To be yes. a happier version of ourselves. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. And specifically the ocean for me is a big one for that because just listening to the sound of waves uh is so magical and then getting to take it a step further and make music with that i just love doing it it's as simple as that really <laughs> yeah that's wonderful and it's one of the best ways to to approach creative work to just love it and share it with the world and let them enjoy it as well and by the way where can people find your work where can our listeners enjoy what you've created um the best place to stay in touch would be through the sounds of the ocean website which is soundsoftheocean.com and i also have music on spotify under my name joshua sam miller as well as apple and any of the other places that you listen to music online would love to hear from you and you can follow us on social media and stay in touch reach out with questions or ideas on places to perform or host an experience we would love to hear from you and thank you so much for having me on the podcast today i really hope that this conversation helps build more gratitude in people's lives and can connect with the power of sound as a a way to get to know ourselves and our world in a better way. Wow. What a beautiful finish and what a beautiful way of um, ending this, this beautiful conversation. Thank you for being here with us, for sharing your work for sharing your voice and um, just for being present and for us the two of us and uh, the people listening for having this this beautiful experience together thank you so much hey gratitude seeker thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this interview i really appreciate it and If you could think of one person that would also benefit from it, share it with them. It might actually be the inspiration that they need to make their day or maybe even their life much better. Thank you so much once again. This has been Georgian Benta. Don't forget to keep seeking and spreading gratitude.